What's up everybody? This is a Yardman 21 inch snow thrower and it won't start. Now the owner stated that this has been sitting for quite some time, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how to get one of these running that's been sitting. Let's go. Yeah, first things first, we'll check the oil. As you can see here, the oil looks to be in great shape and it's full. And we'll check to make sure the engine does turn over. Good there. And we'll check for fuel. It does have some fuel in it, but could be pretty old. All right, so we'll give it the old college try. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll slap the choke on, give it a few primes. And let's give it a shot. No luck there. All right, let's get her up on the work table. We got some work to do. All right, now that we have it up on the table, the next thing we're gonna check is the spark plug. And that's right here. And what you're gonna do is pull the boot off. In this case, you're gonna take a 13 16 socket with a ratchet to remove that plug. I got this guy at Tractor Supply. It's got a swivel head and it's magnetic. Really helpful for pulling plugs. All right, so we'll get right in there. Here's the plug I just pulled out. It's actually in really good shape, so I know that is not the culprit. Let's give it a quick cleanup. Good as new, boy. Now we'll throw her back in. Okay, so the oil's good, the engine turns over, we know the spark plug is in good shape, so the likely culprit is either bad fuel or the engine's being starved for fuel. So there's two things we gotta do. We're gonna drain all this bad fuel out of the tank here, and we're gonna disassemble and clean this carb, baby. All right, so the fuel is fed from the bottom of the gas tank into the bottom of the carb here, so we're gonna disconnect the fuel line here and drain it. All right, so we'll just lower that spring clip down, and we'll pull this fuel line off and let it drain into the bowl. All right, so something I just noticed here, the fuel is barely coming out of this fuel line here. It should be pouring right out. So that likely means that there's a blockage in this fuel line. So we're gonna see if we can blow it back into the tank and see if it drains. All right, so I blew the fuel line back into the tank and now I got some fuel coming out, baby. Oh yeah, flowing now. So we're gonna yank this fuel line off and we'll measure out a new one with the good plastic stuff. All right, I got my new fuel line attached to the gas tank and I was gonna pull the car, but now I'm really curious to see if this thing will start with some fresh fuel, a clean tank, and a clean fuel line. But before I do that, I'm gonna put a shutoff switch in the fuel line. I cut the fuel line in the middle, and we're gonna throw this bad Larry on. All right, I got the shutoff valve in the fuel line here, so we're gonna add some fresh gas, and then we're gonna use the electric start and see what happens. Hey, worth a shot, right? All right, no luck there. Let's pull the car. All right, first we're gonna drain the bowl, get rid of any of that bad fuel that might still be in there. And we'll pop this cover off. And we'll disconnect the primer hose. All right, guys, I just dropped the bowl off to take a look. Check that out. That is your culprit. A gross carburetor. All right, check it out. Here's the float. There's the float needle. Look how gummed up that is. Got your air intake right here. Pretty gummy. And there are the jets. Boy, that's gross. Gonna give all this stuff a spray of carb choke cleaner. We'll blow it out there. <laughs> All right, so I soaked the bowl, the float pin, the float, and the float needle in gasoline and cleaned it all up. And now they're looking a lot better. And here's a tip for you. If you've got to clean jets in your carburetor, they're really gummed up, you can take a torch tip cleaner and that can help you clean out those pesky ports. All right, now we'll get the float reinstalled. And we'll put the bowl back on and we'll bolt this cover back on and reconnect the primer tube. And we'll reconnect our new fuel line. Now I just opened up the fuel valve and you can see right there is already fuel going to the bowl. That's a great sign. All right, well, same as before. We'll put the choke on, give it a few primes. We'll let it rip, see what happens. And we'll take her down. All right, there you have it guys, she lives again. So just to recap the things I checked, I made sure we had oil, made sure the spark was good, and then we checked for fuel. Obviously, there was a blockage in the fuel line, so we took care of that, and there was no fuel going through the carb, so we dismantled that, sprayed cleaner in there, blew on all the lines, brushed everything down, now it runs like hell, boy. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching.